Pisces, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 333 Tarot and with Spirit and we're just going to jump right in here and see what's going on with you today Pisces, okay? Um, I don't know what I was going to say there. We're just going to see what's going on with you today Pisces basically. Alright, so of course this is for Pisces. Uh, sun, Moon Rising and North Node, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. Uh, but for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Sidekick Tarot. All right, Pisces, thank you. We'll start here with some opening um, oracle messages here. Pisces, let's see here. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay, so we have release, destiny, gossip, despondence in reverse, and perseverance. Honestly, Pisces, this can go either way. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like I'm talking to two different Pisces here right away with the energies because there's a Pisces. Okay, so one group of you are really releasing and letting go and healing and actually doing what you're meant to be doing in life you're definitely destined to be here in life which is beautiful there's gossip and bullshit all around you but i also feel like you know how to do it in a healthy way to where it's not going to really affect anyone you know how to just keep it to yourself or with your loved ones you don't spread it to friends and everything at the same time though i think you may have found out that there's some gossip and shit going on around you and about you which did cause you to get in that despondence in reverse you know and get really irritated and aggressive and angry but despite everything going on, you still persevere, move forward, and push through. Others of you, you're on the path, not because it's meant for you, but you're going to persevere and push through. Even though you know you need to release, you want something to be a part of your destiny. But through gossip and anger and frustration and like whatever bullshit stuff, you feel like that's the only way to take you there. So that's two different Pisces groups. So you guys decide what resonates and what doesn't, okay? So let's see here. With the tarot. Like I said, it's for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. I feel like I did say that, but just in case. Did I even mention you, babe? I can't recall. I can't either. Oh, my God. Well, please go to my husband's tarot channel at Sidekick Tarot. If I, all of a sudden, like my, my fart in the wind, my brain. Where's it going? I don't know. It's insane. <laughs> all right, Pisces. Let's see what's going on. You're making me rhyme and stuff. What not here? All right. Reading and rhyming here. And the reading rainbow. Oh, it's a good show. Reading Rainbow. I can't do anything. Take a look. It's in a book. Reading Rainbow. Huh? Come on, anyone grew up with reading? Okay, I did. <laughs> you know? You know, Pisces. Okay. So honestly, you know, this is beautiful. So either, you know, you are really happy in your marriage, relationship, commitments, family, fun stuff, something within yourself if you're single. Uh, you're clearly a go-getter. You get shit done. There's a lot going on that you're working on and focusing on and doing for yourself here. You feel emotionally really good. You could be in a beautiful relationship with your person and doing something of working together in some way, shape, or form. I do see that for some of you, not all of you. And then I do see here, though, at the same time right after that, like with this emotional commitment to something or someone, eh, it's either you are aware that your dreams and goals per se aren't happening yet, but you're on your way, but it still may mess with you, or you are kind of being a little ungrateful, okay, and unhappy, and something's not it anymore, you know, so either or here, but there's, um, ooh, hold on, I was going to say it, drink responsibly, Pisces, okay, there's parties and fun and celebrations, it looks like it's in a healthy energy here, friends, you know, groups, outings, all this kind of stuff here. So let's see and clarify, okay, with the tarot, what's going on. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here, Pisces, whether this is you or who your, your loved one. Like I said, if you're in a marriage, you guys are in lockdown in a good way. Like you guys just have everything like, I don't know. 
locked down on set, just on cue, just ready to go here, cooking up. <laughs> like, it's really nice here, Pisces. Um, you and your marriage, relationship, you yourself, if you're just fulfilled within yourself, your job, stability, family, like, you know how to do your own thing, make your own way, make your own money, just chill. And that's what you're doing. It's very beautiful energy there. I just heard powerhouse in my head, so possibly that. Okay, so, hmm. Okay, so there's something going on here either. Eh, you know, the thing is you still are ready to show up and be of who you are, your position of power, wealth, money, status. Take care of the responsibilities that you got going on for yourself. Um, I do see here though that like that is a beautiful energy that you are in. What causes you to get that way is either you felt stuck, you didn't want to do something, you didn't feel passionate or creative, um, you, or you could have just been like, you know what, I'm going to have a little fun here and use my ego real quick and put people in check. I'm going to say this worked for you. Even if you had a little one night stand, if you're my, all my single ladies out there, I, you still had a good time, you know? So there's that. Ooh, what happened here? Okay. <laughs> What's going on? The cards are flipping. Flipping cards. Usually Aqua's doing that. <laughs> Oop, broom, broom, Sorry. <laughs> you may not get the joke. <laughs> anyway. Um, let's see here. Well, one of you might. Anyway. Uh, let's see here, Pisces. So, huh. Okay. I'm going to say it's creative ideas, intentions. You're trying to figure out what to do with that. But you know what? You're very committed and loving and loyal to a pet, a child, a kid, adult or small, doesn't matter. There's some sort of project or hobby. Maybe you're in the, something's cooking. That's what I keep, it's cooking. Like I hear someone go, it's cooking, bitch. Like it's cooking. I be cooking. Like good, cook, whip. Fucking do something, Pisces. I like it. You're kind of like, you know, there's something here that's kind of rusty, crusty, but not because you're not good at it. It may just take practice, and there you are just kind of chilling there. Okay, having emotions to it. Nice. What do we got here? Oh, beautiful. Oh, well, hold on here. Well, it's a healthy competition, but it's, makes, it's making you feel unfulfilled. Okay, that flipped. Mm-hmm. For some of you, it's a completely different marriage outside of you that you're looking at. The male and the female. It's a it's a um, heterosexual marriage and relationship that's kind of that's causing you to kind of lose your shit. That's not for all of you, but for some of you, it's like a whole different marriage outside of you that you're like, what the fuck just happened? And it was like healthy competition. Everything's fine. Nothing bad's going on with you or towards you. But you're taking it personal for some of you, and you're starting to kind of like feel very unfulfilled with yourself and everything in life because you're not getting what you want. But then for others of you. You're willing to, like I said, you're willing, I'm talking to two Pisces today. You're willing to um, fight for this, you know what I mean? Because you know that you're not gonna, you're, you don't have your, that goal or desire yet, but you understand you're gonna get there. So either or here. At the end of the day, like I said, like all of you, all Pisces collective, you guys are happy and celebrate something. Okay. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of feel like, you know, some of you might be planning another pregnancy or one or a new one or something here with your person. Uh, there, congratulations. There's a celebratory energy here, you know, newly mother or just, you know, you're doing, an, you know, having another kid or something here. But others of you, I think it's money, wealth, image, status, level of success. For some of you, it could be a relationship or marriage. If something doesn't feel like enough, it's more so like your image and ego and aggression is getting the best of you. But at the same time, I kind of feel like you like being lustful. You like to be like the dark, dark, uh, what's that called? I forgot what they use it on TikTok. Oh, who gives a shit? It's going to die anyway. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to descri describe it. What was that stupid ass trend? My dark feminine goddess side. But it's like, it's like, it's like, you know, this energy of like, you might be tapping into your villain era like dark gifts or some shit for the sake of friends and society and people and partying and having a good time you know because you still feel like you're not good enough or pretty enough or attractive enough you're like out of control with something so you're kind of like well fuck it i'm gonna find a way with my friend group we're gonna like gang stalk or something i don't know I'm like fuck i don't care prices do what you need to do with your friends and the girly friends go kiss each other who cares right have fun i kind of still feel like you're having fun though you know what i mean hmm i don't know that's what i got for you here today pisces a lot of libra um, we got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I don't know. I like that. I kind of feel like, you know, you may not look like you feel good and look good and smell good and you want to use greed and money and all that image, 
but at the end of the day, I feel like it works out for you because you're celebrating and succeeding with something or with friends or something. So, I don't know. That's what I got for you, Pisces. Thank you, bye.